Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa and here we are in the city of Snowfall. This is the city that I made way back when the Snowfall DLC first came out and I've always had a place in my heart for a good snow covered city. I just love the way it looks, the way the colors come through, the white, I just love snow anyway. Snow is one of my most favorite things. Whenever we get snow in the UK, we have tons of fun. My boys absolutely always want to have a mega huge snowball fight. We had a massive family snowball fight a few years back when we had absolutely tons of snow. And then every year since then, is there enough snow to have a huge snowball fight? And this time we managed to have one in, in um, a couple of weeks gone by. So, yeah, it's fantastic. So I love the snow. I love the snow. A bit of yellow snow over here. Not so nice, but the rest of the snow looking good. But traffic. Yeah, we've got some traffic to do. We did a little bit of fixing and I want to do a little bit more fixing. Now, this area along here... If you remember, we put this junction in. So many comments. What overkill for that, for that area. Don't need it that big. You're probably right, but I'm liking it. It stopped the traffic backing up all the way down here, but we've got problems with our trams. Our trams are sort of stopping things at this junction here. I say our trams are stopping things. It's this junction here, really. They're coming along here, and this is a big road coming through there and yeah they're just they're just whacking it and it's just not very good at all now we did put in if i remember correctly yeah a time traffic light oh there we go perfect so it's letting this way go through which is number one i'll move that over there and we can zoom in on that so everybody can see it uh, i have to just lean forward and squint at my <laughs> monitor yeah we did change these i'm gonna go for eight and twelve in fact i'm gonna go a little bit less i'm gonna go five and twelve and then we're gonna start that up and just see if that helps here we want these to go through but not take so long that it backs up everywhere else and at the minute you can see it's backing up backing up but let's just let this run through a couple of iterations Okay, I'm just going to make a small change so we can see how we've got the three lanes coming in. So they've all got dedicated turning lanes, but it doesn't stretch back that far. And you get that sort of hawky balky lane switching just there. Let's just go out. Hang on. Turn that off, please. Let's just upgrade another section of road like that the same. And I want them to pick their lanes down here. Actually, we might let them switch lane in the middle i'm going to do the same over here actually we've got that goes a different way what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to grab the move it bod and just make that a tiny bit bigger so there's basically more room for stacking up the three cars uh, three lanes of cars there there and there this one isn't too bad it goes all the way down to there this one could do with being a little bit longer as well i'm going to do the same little trick i'm going to just drag it out just so we can back up the three cars a little bit longer and do you know what as we look at it there's no traffic here let's just speed it up a bit all oh, buildings are disappearing that's my fault yeah see this is what happens these guys decide to stop in the middle we've got to stop right over here okay so let's just take a look at that ideally i would like these trams not to be on this road and let's just have a look at where they go trams 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 this one here and we'll turn that on so yeah we look at this blue line so they come down here remember they came through the middle and they turn around at the top so it's actually a very very short little ride that they're doing how many trams do we have on that line eight <laughs> oh, flipping heck 18 vehicles all right well this is the simple solution for this problem 18 vehicles two would be overkill because there's hardly anybody using it okay that's going down to two that is going down to two what else have we got here let's just sort by vehicles oh man that is just nuts nuts okay let's have a look here so we've got a couple of empty ones that's a bit full that's a bit full picking up the odd one yeah that's not too bad we'll leave that one uh, this one here looks sus. Look, six with only 121 passengers. So when, when you get to the end of the line, are they busy, full? That one's empty. Yeah, we don't need six. Let's drop it down to four. That'll be more than enough. And these have got quite a lot on there. So I'm going to leave. Oh, man, that is just... 
That's going down to two. That is so many, it's, it's idiotic. Um, let's have a look on here. So we've got one with no vehicles on at all. I'm just going to delete it. Um, let's sort by vehicles. Ten vehicles with only 91 passengers. And each vehicle is like 110, 30, 30, 30. Going down. Come on. Going down, going down. Five. Again, is going to be more than enough. Uh, this one here, we've got nine. Yeah, with big buses like I seem to have in this city. I mean, eight vehicles and 44 passengers. It's just... Oh, man. I mean, there might be a, a situation where more people are using them as the game goes on. Well, we can up them again. But I tell you what, let me just whiz through here. I'm going to drop all of these down. I'm also going to take out some of these lines. There's like three people using it. And we know it's not because of a huge mega problem with traffic. Because we haven't got a huge mega problem with traffic at the moment. I'm going to do it up to 20. I think for a bus line, that's like plenty. And then just double check that none of these have got a ridiculous amount. And if we have, we'll just drop them down like that. Wow. Wow. And this one here's got six. Yeah, we'll drop that down as well. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So that should... If we go back to where we were before, which was over here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Over here, over here. So that should now... Yeah, look. Much freer. We haven't got 18 flipping trams. We've got Coca-Cola lorries. I like those in this map. I think that goes with the snow for some reason. But yeah, that's much better. That's much, much better. That's going to keep moving nicely. And you can see, look, plenty of room for stacking up, three abreast, all the way down there. Cool beans. Right, okay. So we'll leave that running for a bit. Uh, this is red. It's just busy. This is red. It's just busy. This is all okay. So I'm going to say this bit's done. This bit over here. Right, look, we've got two big junctions. And what is going on? Whoa. Again, tram... Fantastic stuff's going on here. Um, it's actually just busy rather than blocked up. So that one's okay. Oh, yeah, this is that. Yeah, this bit here. Oh, is that where my tram is going off? You're all changing lanes to get up here. Have we got some weird lanes set up? We have. Uh, this is what I did before, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I did. So they can come one, pick a lane, go. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, they're both trying to get across there. I'll tell you what it is. It's this. Uh, I want that there to keep going. There we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. And also, I'm not sure I want them to change lanes right before. They can pick their lane when they come in there. But as long as it doesn't back up too far, that's okay. And there we go. Look, that's going down now. I think it's just because of this little bit here here we're getting two merging in so what we could just do on that one is give them a hand we could upgrade that to two lanes and then we can say when you come out take a lane each and then over here we'll add a slip lane so we'll go like that we'll do a couple there we go there we go have a lane each don't lane switch there merge down here somewhere that'll just keep that going that's better isn't it look it's all moving. Good. You're stopping there because you're a tram. Trams, you're allowed to stop. That's just busy. Okay. So I would say then that that bit's fixed. Now, what about this road here? What have we got going on? There's a lot of people stopping, a lot of people coming out. Yep. What's going on here? here what's going on here is not enough lanes going in each direction and that's a four lane one as well and here's a six lane road in here let's give them a little grass bank there we go so then each end of this can have dedicated turning lanes and dedicated turning lanes and in fact that bit there i mean i've got bus lanes in there but we're going to lose the bus lanes uh, that can stay up there we don't need the bus lanes uh, there and there actually not there and not here so i mean we don't have to change them but these can be asymmetric so three going into the four way junction but two coming down here and then this one here actually could be back to the one we had before this one because you can go straight on or left here you can go straight on or right and that's got two coming in one going out ah that'll just stay like it is so then if we just go along here and do control left click look at the arrows on the road dedicated turning lanes dedicated turning lanes dedicated turning lanes. and that one and that should then keep it all moving and then we've got some weird traffic lights in a couple of spots so let's get rid of those 
So you should give way when you're coming on. Keep this main one going. This is a bit... Yeah, we want this one here as well. Not that one. Uh, this one. So this is the same as what we did in that other place. We've got the three lanes coming into here. And then we can do control left click. Dedicated turning lanes for everybody. There we go. Look at that. That's all cleared up nicely. This is, seems like a pretty busy road. This one down here. Why are they all coming down here? I mean, there's a lot of buildings here. So that might just be the reason why. So what I'm going to do on the end here is just give them an asymmetric road as well. Just so when they come out. Uh, that way. There we go. They can turn left or right. Oh, actually, it should have three, shouldn't it? Yes, it should. Uh, this one here. One plus three. And that's a thin one. Perfect. There we go. So we control left click again. And now we can stack that traffic up that's trying to come out three wide. And they can get out thrice times as quick because that's how this sort of thing works. Nice. I'm just going to put that in there just for these people coming up this way. I know it doesn't help for the people going down that way, but that's cleared out that road nicely. Look at that. I think a sip of tea in celebration. Mm. I love the way the snow looks on the road as well. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Seven chairs. So that is nicely cleared up. Good. I keep looking at this one here. It's, it's like getting too busy for me. Yeah, I keep seeing it and it is getting too busy. So what are we going to do about it? Let's have a look. What has it got? Time traffic lights? No. Normal traffic lights? No. It's got absolutely nothing. We're going to give it some time traffic lights. Wow. Lots going on there. And I'm hoping actually just... See, look, now there's people all waiting down here. So let's just put it like that and keep an eye on what's going on with this one yeah in my mind that's going okay so every time the light changes of course we've got the proper amount of lanes i think oh we've only got two lanes so that's probably not helping but yeah we're gonna go with that it's cleared it up it's not quite as red as it was before cool okay good so that's that so we said this was okay that's just busy this is okay that's okay this up here what are you doing i think this is just being a busy road yeah that's the one we just changed isn't it that is just being a busy road so yeah that's fine let's have a look at it look at why is this so busy and there's nobody in here there's <laughs> literally nobody living here and it's busy oh it's one of these roundabouts everybody loves them so let's set this up if we do this control shift click no it's not going to do it so if we go give way uh what did i do last time i mean i know i deleted one of those i left one of them in didn't i did i put any give way signs or anything on it no oh i put four lane roads coming up and going through i knew i'd change something yeah let's do that then where are we this one here so they've got all different options and ways to go that makes that makes sense so four lane up, all the way going through, and then... Yeah, so we've got one for going right, two for going straight on, and that should... If we do that, do that, do that... There we go, look, already, it's gone down. The traffic. As soon as you give them the correct roads, they're like, thank you very much, sir. I will use those correct roads, and I will use them to go to the wall, go to the place that I want to go. Right. Oh, I love it when past Biffa puts lots of industry together and junctions right up against each other. Again, this is going to be quickly solved. I can already see what's going on. So this is a two-lane road. Right, this is a busy road, this one down here. Because in my mind, yeah, that's okay. So that can join from here in my mind this should be a four lane road all the way down so that's two lanes each direction all the way up to the end and then even this bit here should be an asymmetric three and one so you've got one coming in actually a three and two would be better but i think a three and two is going to be too wide do you know what it's so busy i'm going to do it anyway and then we've got three lanes coming into this junction which is a four-way junction we've got three lanes coming down here which is a two-way junction so i can do can you let me get that one a three and two there this doesn't need to be as wide this one so we're going to go here and like that and like that yeah this doesn't need to be a six lane road down here we're going to do this all the way along where's it going is it ever going to end oh there we go all the way down to the end there yep good good so then we're going to do dedicated turning lanes there follow it all the way along and here and here and there's loads of traffic down here don't worry we haven't finished with this one yet this is only a small one coming up here 
So a three and a one will be fine on there, like that. So everybody's got all the lanes they need. And this is a six lane road again, isn't it? Um, so boo, boo, doo, boo, boo, doo, boo, boo. let's take this one twice. We'll turn that round. So three lanes coming in, two going down. And then over here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's six lane roads everywhere. But you know what? I'm just going to do this on the beginning. Like that. No, nope, like that. Like that. Like that. Just like that. And then this bit down here can just be four lane road in between. That one. And it'll stop them cutting across as well. I think that'll work better. I think it will. So dedicated turning lanes. Bish. Dedicated turning lanes. Right. So let's see what's happening. We're going to need... <laughs> what's happening is, is I'm making things worse. But sometimes you have to make things worse before they get better. Oh, yeah. We didn't do dedicated turning lanes down here, did we? So let's do that very quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> see, this is rubbish. Having things right up against the junction. Not a good idea. And then also we need to give them... Because you can go both ways here. Should have done this first. Dedicated turning lanes coming out. Or asymmetric roads, I should say, coming out. And that will just keep things moving a bit better. Yeah, should have done that first, then the dedicated turning lanes. Now, that junction over here, I'll just show you when I've done this. Here we go. This junction here is too close. Where does that road go? Yeah, so we could just do this. We're going to pick that road there. And we're going to join that to there. So that's now the way of getting through to that section so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to use a move it mod and just drag that up to the end so hopefully all this business doesn't disappear something like that anyway there we go fill that in fill that in nothing on the main road oh yeah nothing on the main road keep that main road free all this connecting road here this one offices are fine and i'm gonna do that yeah, this is like the main road as well we'll see how that goes but that should be much better. So then what we can do is we can extend this now. It's probably going to destroy a few things, but there we go. Excellent. Excellent. So they're not going to be stopping when they come down here. They can queue up three abreast on each side. And that should work fine. I have got this on hard mode, haven't I? No despawning. Yes, that's what I want to see. This is quite a bend. They're all coming down here and want to get up there. Could I let them in another way as well? I mean, I could have a little lane come up there and just connect from there to there. Because at the minute, it's all coming down. Look. And all of this is all coming down. So all of this has only got one connection. All of that's only got one connection. Did we do... No, we didn't. This is the asymmetric road episode. I mean, if that's what you need, that's what you need. You know, it's... Uh... There we go. Two lanes going out... Two lanes going out, and I missed this one here. Two lanes going out, and dedicated turning lanes, dedicated turning lanes, dedicated turning lanes. Right. And then the last thing is, I can't remember whether we had lights on here. No. Is I'm going to put control left click. You see it down here? You probably can't see that as well because it's all white. Can I just move this? If I put it on there, if you click this little question mark. The help guide pops up. This one's time traffic lights. So I'm going to control left click, which is going to put in an automatic set up controlled set uh blah, blah blah hope that made perfect sense it's going to put in an automatic set of controlled traffic lights uh if you want to do them yourself you've got the manual traffic light one there just realized here that should be give way that should be give way and that should be give way that's probably why they're backing up there as well ha ha so we'll put this way round. there we go so keep an eye on all of this traffic and let's see if it goes down yeah, I'm happy with that. Traffic on this one here only sort of backs up to that bit. Here it only backs up to there. There it's not getting past there. And there isn't any traffic on that one. What I'm going to do just down here is I'm just going to drag that a little bit further down so they can stack up three wide a bit sooner. But apart from that, that one is going okay. These cars look like they're coming up and straight round again. No, they're not. It's fine. Good. So that was... Where were we? We were working our way up here, weren't we? Just because they're slowing down, unfortunately, on that corner. Do you know what we could do? If I use the Move It mod and put on Snapping and grab that and just bring it back like that, it just makes this corner a little less severe. Just sort of st straighten those out. Just a little less severe. I mean, not hugely. And this just does not need to have that there, does it? Let's just get rid of that. 
Just keep going. There's no other cars coming this way. Let's go like that. Uh, I want two for turning right. No, okay. We'll do it this way then. Uh, turn right. There you go. And then just keep going. Just keep going. No, wrong one. Just keep going. Don't stop. What? The t what? I said just keep going. Go. Just keep going. That's what that means. Don't back up. You don't need to. It's like there's nothing here. I don't know these people. you got to help them out. This is that one we just fixed and it's really super busy again, isn't it? Do you know what isn't over here, which we obviously need, is a cargo train station because they're just taking that cargo everywhere. Is there not train... Right, there's a train... Is that a train line? No, that's a plane line. Is there any trains on here anywhere? Am I being blind or is there no train... Oh, here we go. There. Then it comes down this way. Goes underground. Yeah. Comes out over here. Goes over there. This orange line. Splits here. Goes out the city. Then it comes up here, which I think is the way we need to go, isn't it? Yeah. Comes round there. Up here. Along by the... Ah, okay. Cargo hub. We can hook into that right there by that junction. Perfect. So where could I put this thing? Without causing an absolute ton of traffic. Oh, let me just have a quick think. Okay, so I think I'm going to run this line that comes from our cargo, whatever this is called, cargo hub. I'm going to run that underneath. Uh, let's get my picker picker tool. Come on, picker picker. Thank you very much. I'm going to run that underneath this big intersection junction thing here. There we go. Excellent. And come out the other side like that. And then back to above ground. Excellent. And add something over here. Um, we don't have access to, like, I was thinking about a cargo airport. Unfortunately, we haven't got to Metropolis or Megalopolis yet. And we could just have it come off of this road here and do a very simple, let's just see, let's just see, one-way road system. I'm not quite sure how busy this is going to get. So we're nicely away from all the other junctions that are going on here. Let's do like a one-way road up like that, like that, like that, in and out. And then I may force these to turn left or right. But at the minute, we'll just we'll let them do what they want to do. We'll do that and we'll say, yeah, this is definitely going to be a roundabout. Definitely, definitely. And it's going to be a three-lane roundabout. Most definitely. So let's put that on again. That seems a reasonable size. Oh, why not? Let's add one here as well. Blow it. Let's do it. Let's turn off that. And then we'll do our traffic manager control left click. So we get dedicated turning lanes and all that good good stuff um yeah let's put no lane switch in there i don't think we necessarily need that and there's another one over here yeah we don't need it there either let's leave that like that so they can come in they can come out they can go around here they can shake it all about so they can do what they like we've got two nodes in the middle yeah we'll leave it like that that's fine and then we'll just put it off the top here um let's have a look where's the line oh the line <laughs> i've put the line coming out all the way down there well i'll tell you what we're going to move that over there like so we're going to bring this Ah, uh, no, that's where our, does our line... See, what I was thinking as well is what I could have done was bought this square up here and put another one of these cargo hubs, but we can't unlock any other squares, so... Nope. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that there, and I'm going to go underground like that, and then I'll join these two up. There we go. Excellent. That shouldn't be too bad. We'll add a bit of water into there. Cool beans. So what we're probably going to find is a lot of these guys are going to travel down to here as opposed to coming all the way through and coming all the way down to here. Because this, I mean, this isn't too busy, this one. Actually, it's not busy at all. It's fine, isn't it? Oh, look, it's the first time I used these container lot things that we had in T-Port. Fantastic. So what I'm thinking is if we just sort of give that a little bit of time... Oh, we could we could pretty this up if we wanted to but if we just give that a little bit of time it'll be interesting to see i mean it's still going to be busy on this junction i'm just sort of thinking whether we could add a road coming down here into this do you know what that might be a good idea uh what are we at 78 percent not too shabby even i should say show myself <laughs> uh let's upgrade these to four lane like that Turn that one off. And then I want that to branch off. I want this... Okay, let's just pause this a sec. I want this to carry on. Uh, where are we trying to get to? Over here. So if we go straight a bit like that. 
we're going to go straight a bit out of there and then we'll just connect these two up there we go perfect and then this one up here is just a bog standard normal road and that can just sort of come off of here as a junction can't it like Come on, bend. Oh, okay. Bend like that then. I don't care. Dedicated turning lanes and you can give way. Oh, go on. Let's put an asymmetric road on the end of this. We know we want to. There we go. Excellent. So that now connects up to down here. Let's just double check that that's got that. Yeah. Oh, hang on a sec. Control left click. Yeah, so that's now got access this way, which a lot of these will probably take. There we go. They're already taking them which will lessen the traffic there. As always, giving people more routes than just one to get somewhere is the way to go. So let us just keep an eye on this for a moment or two, our new cargo hub, and just see whether people start to use it. Yay, people are using it. Fantastic. So we saw the trains going out. I mean, those trains may even sort of come over here and unload some stuff. There we go. Look, we've got another one up here. And also anything that's brought in via this cargo hub, rather than the cars heading out to over here, it may just be dropped off here by train, as we're going to see one come along in a minute. There we go. In fact, we can check that, can't we? If we click on here and do that. Oh, the train's just going backwards and forwards. But these guys are coming out. Where are they going? Yeah, you see, they're coming to bring staff to deliver it over to here. So, yeah, that's good. Traffic on this road is good. Hopefully, that will lessen the traffic here. I mean, there's barely any cars there, look. Barely any cars and trucks there. It's doing fine. I did notice in the middle there a bit of lane switching, which I'm going to stop. I always stop it if there's a junction before where they can actually pick their lane. They will, they will always change lane at a node. So if I say no at this node, they'll do it there, which will work much better. I bet I've got it there as well. And yeah, not there. That's looking good. That is looking not too shabby. But let's just have a quick glance around how everything's going. I mean, it's still 77%. I think that's just because we've got a lot of well-used roads. These are just part there. Well-used roads that are showing up as red. What is this underneath here? Let's get rid of that. But it's not its not bad traffic. There's nowhere you can sort of point to and say, that's bad traffic. Wow, that is bad traffic. Flipping it. That is what's... <laughs> oh, my life. What is going on here? Yeah, we played with this early, didn't we? And set up a time traffic light here. This is like the busiest... That junction, just it just looks... I don't know what it is about the snow, but you do that and it just looks real life, doesn't it? That is really cool. Yeah, we messed with this one, didn't we, earlier? And I think we've messed with it wrong. We've messed with it bad. Let's just have a quick look at our time traffic light that we set up. Okay, uh, hopefully we can zoom into this window at the top here. I'm going to crane my neck and just see what we've done. Because it was yesterday. So three and eight on that one. Uh, actually, I can see it on this one. Three and eight, three and eight, three and eight, three and eight. Okay, let's just play that a minute. I want to see which is this one going down here see a lot of them are not where does this go so this just goes down to what is this a hospital and a cemetery um so could we just attach that somewhere else do you know what we could let's just pause that a sec i'm going to take that junction out there uh, let's just move this back over there let's grab that let's squeeze this around here and that's going to join there instead a little bit further away from the junction we'll give it dedicated turning lanes we'll give it give way for people coming in and out so that means they can get further down here. And then we're also going to say no lane switching before by a couple of blocks. So that's going to make them pick their lane back here and stack up two or three wide. Yeah, the problem is because we've got the trams, it means we don't have enough lanes for what everybody wants to do. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the game. I'm going to pick this tool here and we're going to see where are most people going which is going to be really hard to tell let's go back a junction right <sighs> wish there was a way of getting a number like you hover it over it and it would say x amount are going down this road x amount are going down that road i mean to me most of it just using my brain a bit there looks like straight on so i want to make sure there's a dedicated straight on lane which there isn't and we just can't have it can we because hmm, okay okay let me where else could we there's a lot of cars all of this high density stuff is all coming down here what i want to do is ban ban them turning right well okay i can't do that i don't want to mess around with the traffic that much so let
let us change our time traffic lights. Uh, see which one it is that's this one coming down here and give them a bit more time. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Oh my goodness, that traffic light's nuts, isn't it? So it's this one here. So they're going. Oh, this one, they're going. Right, so it is number one. Yeah, it's number one. Okay, so we'll edit that. It's on three and eight. Let's make that... I'm going to leave it on three, but make it 12. So the minimum time will stay as it is. So if there's nothing going, then other people can go. But it just runs a little bit longer. And then let's start it up. Because for some reason it wasn't started, even though it was still going. So I want to just make sure... There we go. Oh, oh, hang on. That seemed like it was number two. Hang on, hang on. Right, yeah, number one's this way. Look, I got the wrong one, didn't I? That's number two. So this is number three. Okay, let me just uh, stop that... We'll put that back to three and eight. Save that one. And then number three. We'll change that to 12. Save that. Start that. Okay. And then we'll let that run. And keep your eye. Oh, look at that view. I love the white and the colors. Fantastic. And then we just want to keep an eye on these guys up here. See if they eventually go down. I'm also going to change a couple of settings here. Buses may ignore lane arrows may help because if i accidentally put in dedicated turning lanes and make a bus turn yeah they might want to go straight on but this one here is always a good one to put on vehicles may turn at red traffic light so if they're turning but not crossing in front of someone else that can also help things move a bit quicker so we'll see if that helps as well also now that i'm watching this most people are turning right um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and give them a dedicated right turn lane. So if you're going to go straight on and left, you can use a different lane. And that might just help spread out the traffic a teeny bit more. Because these other two are doing okay. That one's doing okay. We just need to get these guys through. And they're also sort of stopping up here. Oh, look, we haven't got dedicated turning lanes there. Look. So they're all queuing up, getting in each other's way. And that needs to be give way. Keep these guys going. Oh, we may have stumbled across something here. Keep keep you going once you come around the corner. Uh, this again is, yeah. See, if you start putting trams down the middle of the road where it's busy, you've got to pay the price. Okay, right. This is it now. This is going to fix the problem, I'm sure. And look at that. Already you can see people utilising all the lanes. So now look, all the right-hand turn cars have all gone, apart from these couple. Just putting a bit of thought into how you use your lanes can really help. I mean, if we... You know, if I go onto the workshop and got a three-lane road with a tram down the middle, this problem just would not exist. But I don't have one. <laughs> so, whoa, see that Coca-Cola truck there? But anyway, yeah, let's just carry on. Also, another thing that would help is removing the crossways from here, the crossings. So if we made paths over the top for people to cross, that would definitely make a huge difference. But do you know what? We've cracked it. Look, it's not backing up here anymore. Let's just zoom out. Not backing up here, not backing up there. And it's only backed up a little tiny bit there. Or oh, you're doing lane crossing there. Oi, no, we know what we said about that. No lane crossing there. You can pick your node in that junction. We've cracked it. That's fantastic. 81%. Do you know what? I think that's going to do it for this city. We fixed the traffic. There's no other glaring problems that are jumping out. Oh, you've got a little bit here of not enough workers, but that just means we need to build more in the city. Well, if we were going to continue to build the city, that could be solved really easily. But I think we're going to move on to another city in the next Fix My City. So if you enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support. I'm just going to sit and watch this beautiful looking junction for a few more minutes and I will see you very soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.